he was he was just you know, he was just raw with y'all. Yeah, you guys just went you went due north of that just a little bit there, just kinda going around rather than through the city to go to the get to the north road. Um, once you'd arrived, the city appeared to be occupied. Um, Zach had kind of identified that these guys here who appear to be, who are now apparently running the city, are Cal Ferris soldiers from the island out in the, the bay here, kind of going out to the, the ocean. Um, this used to be one of their cities, um, like 10-ish years ago. Um, but they'd, after losing the trade wars, they had, the city was given to the Black Feather um, Kingdom, and the you guys can also now at this point see the Cal Ferris River for the first time. It is pretty massive, um, comparable to uh, Mississippi, and then get a little bigger. So no joke here. Definitely plenty of room to sail ships up and down river at the same time if you desired so. Okay. Um, while we're talking, mm -hmm. is oh, uh, Scar's log is not with us, correct? Uh, no, I was gonna kind of have him show with up. You all now, yeah. Okay. So just say he left <coughs> with you, and he's just really quiet. Okay. Um. Well, with both Kim and Cody here, I want to discuss, um, I've realized over the past few years since I've been alone and left my clan, I realize I've lost touch with my discipline with as um, a soldier. I was wondering if you guys would be willing to help train me to help me regain that discipline and become a better fighter. I grew up fighting on the streets. <laughs> I'm, I'm no soldier. <laughs> I'm aware. I can teach you to swing really hard. <laughs> <coughs> yep. This is why I'm asking. Though I... <laughs> the secret uh, is to take both hands on your weapon and swing <laughs> as hard as you can. <laughs> oh, well, you level 10 fighter, why not? <laughs> Sincerity, I feel as if I've retained my strength as a person, or as a dwarf, but I've lost my sense of my sense of discipline, really, and I'm hoping you guys can help me regain it. Help me focus, really. If we take you on, you have to do everything we say. <laughs> <laughs> and then I okay. I'll, I'll go land bird and he is a sensei, Garzbog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? Forget it, I asked for one. Ugly one. Fuck you both. <laughs> Just watch. Hope for the best. the idea the secret really is but take both hands on the on the weapon <laughs> swing really hard <laughs> i appreciate it bowing off the great ones but i cannot return to my lands i can't ask for people help i just i can't do it i have my reasons I'd rather not talk about it Good ones, but not something I can do. Probably slept with the mayor's daughter or something. <laughs> Don't call <laughs> Don't the mayor. Mayors. Was. Yeah. <laughs> if kings. King and clan leader. Pretty much. Usually they're both the same, are they not? Uh, like the head clan is the main king. But then you have that king. Oh, okay. Okay.
say that Lang was with Gears the whole time, not off adventuring and fighting wars. So he just, you know, we all travel with you. Yeah, yep. <laughs> um, so you guys then are going to continue to head north to the city of Javis, which is about two days out across the river. Uh, there is a really gigantic bridge um, up ahead. It's about a day's journey. Um, but as you guys have which you kind of traveled beyond, like you're getting into like some marshy type territories. At this point here, it's pretty damn swampy. On both sides of the river, as the rather than forming like a big delta, the river kind of starts to spread out naturally in these lowlands. And so you've just got a lot of pools of standing stagnant water, which is generally kind of gross around here. Um, so that's kind of what you'll be traveling through here for at least most of this first day, you figure. Um, Lang, I also don't know if we told you, uh, you have now been joined by an elf druid and a dragonborn sorcerer. Cool. I'm a big uh, fan of what the dragonborn, does the druid have animal friends? He is the an druid animal. often turns into an animal. Yeah. Have you fried him? <coughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell that. Yeah, I, 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 I often do the warp because I turn into a rat in Lord. <laughs> I was not happy. So Bullshit. Kind. So kind. <laughs> can, you do a, can you do a moose? I've always wanted to yep. ride a moose. That was actually how I introduced myself, was a giant white moose. I thought you were an elf. Yeah, yeah. technically oh, I think yeah. it's an elf. Yeah. But giant, giant elf. Very yeah. different creatures. <laughs> moose, yeah, it was moose and elf. Whatever. Giant elf. Might as well be a moose at that point. Moose are huge. Elf yeah, are not as said, huge. Giant elf. I said giant elf is probably a moose. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Or you could be a giant moose, and then you would just Unfortunately, I can't be absolutely gigantic. There is no such creature as a giant moose. That's his character. Yeah. But anyways, so we have a druid. We have a, a druid and what else was it? A dragon. Dragonborn. Dragon dragon. Dragonborn sorcerer. Oh shit! No, Lang didn't. Uh, yeah, okay, hold on, Lang. I gotta, I gotta tell you the story of this group. So the party had, uh, yep. The party had kind of after finishing this quest, stepped back and took a look at the things that they had going on around them. It was revealed to them that uh, Nate's old character Zonoria has been up to very nefarious deeds, and he has um, cracked open a ancient prison that held dragonborn for nearly a millennium oh. um they had they were by and large uh very evil mm. but many of them during their imprisonment have you know decided to give up on their evil ways and try to find their way throughout the world but many of them uh the dragonborn people yes okay. many of them though wanted to return to power and zonoria promised that if they follow him and his master uh Zareth, a dragon who has been uh, imprisoned in a soul gem of sorts and return him to life that they will uh, dragons will rule the world again that or yeah so that is the route the party has decided to go and are they affiliated with any government agencies no these guys here are totally rogue um, but okay. speaking of government agencies where you guys are kind of traveling through here uh, there is all-out war going on. Um, you guys, at some point, uh, like, a, like a month and a half or, or two months ago, um, the empire you guys were in and the one that you had kind of just touched on a little bit before have started killing the shit out of each other. Hmm. Um, it sounded everything was going really good for the Blackfeather elves, um, but then as you guys started heading north out of uh, the capital, uh, it was revealed that the front lines broke and they are now in full retreat across the plains. Um, you guys actually were able to see some of the fighting in the distance, but decided to go out and around and away from that. Um, but strangely, now I said you've arrived in the city, uh, the city of Galen, and, or Galen, and it is the 
needs to be occupied as well, and not by any either force that they should be fighting over this territory. So, um, but the back recognizing that these guys should not be here, um, the party decided to go around and not interact with them. So, you guys are now, um, you know that uh, way to the north was where uh, Zenoria was headed. Um, that was where he was kind of <coughs> off towards. So you guys are now. Is this the yeah, 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 it's actually going to be, by the time it's all said and done, you're looking at almost a week and a half of travel, just like straight through. So, yeah, you guys are a couple of days from Java, so then about five day travel to this place called Coven. So, where there's not an Arvor. I shouldn't have made, <laughs> that, the, I made that the rule, actually. Holy crap, that's really nice. Um, <laughs> the other thing that I'll throw out to you guys. I have done a whole bunch more reading and stuff on random encounters and whatnot, and I've tried to, like, I tried the by the book system for things. So we'll see how this goes. It's a little, little different, uh, but it should make them more challenging and less of a face roll time. So uh, just keep that in mind as you guys are going. This uh, should be a little bit more muscly than what you're used to. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, sometimes as I look at it, I kind of think it might not be. So who knows? Anyways, that is where we are at at this point. You guys are heading north to deal with your once friendly friend, Zonoria. <laughs> well, so, only so, so quickly, Nate has turned on himself. <laughs> <laughs> only Landbird and Thor know know he's in there. He's out of the character. character was the one who kind of brought to light all of this stuff um, oh. with Zelnoria because he was released from this prison and basically anyone who chose to not join them was they started executing people on the spot so anyone you, anybody who wasn't going to join them started running for their lives and mm. this is where Nate made it to his down where he, uh, to Gadriel oh you breathe oh cool come on chill just drink for me and make the soup hot <laughs> <laughs> So day one is fairly chill for you guys. Um, nothing too wild as you're, um, the, or at least the morning air, uh, pretty plain Jane. At least a little stinky. And uh, you guys are uh, pretty much still within sight of the river. Um, not super close to it, but you can see it in the valley clearly. Um, by midday, though, after you guys had, or as you guys are getting ready for break for lunch, the um, you can get a little bit farther away from the river and kind of travel a little bit inland to where there's more solid ground. And as you guys are walking, you notice something ahead on your path. Boom! Whoa, what? like a football. Oh, yeah, that really shrunk there, dude. I know, it's diabetes. Eggs? Eggs? Question mark? 
Mm. It's also some type of anathema. Would I recognize with that? Being a druid of the wild? Um, not... If you got closer and distracted, you probably could. Oh, okay. No, they, you, you do know that they are not dragon eggs. <coughs> could I call this help? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you were honey badgering, weren't you? Let me get you a honey badger. Nice. There's like some really nice badgers, but I'm not paying money for them. So no. What's up, bro? Nice, a, a platypus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <coughs> it's either that or he gets the possum badger, okay? <laughs> the possum badger. Or like the mountain lion. <coughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, the, uh, that that the badger the platypus badger. parent? The word they use is dire badger. Okay. You can't just type in giant badger. Or just regular badger and get a badger? That's what I got, <laughs> bro. Okay. The, this is this is regular badger, okay? That's what I got here. This is that's regular badger. Well, that's, like that's, 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 that's still fuck better than a fucking whatever the fuck that thing is. Really? Dude, this is a possum. That is a possum. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what it decides to be. So it's still a ginormous creature. Oh, shit. That is just fat, bro. <laughs> All that honey, you don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And your badger. Holy shit, I actually get my own guy this time. Oh, that's Rita. Oh shit. Yeah, man, look at look at that. I'm sorry, Nate. I don't I cannot find a spellcaster and I'm not paying money, so um Brock, two D eight plus four health. Go. Roll that shit. Badger. Oh yeah, dead eight. Yeah. Honey, yeah. honey badger, ready to fuck hoes. <laughs> um. And but honey badger does get to make two attacks per turn. Nice. Write I'll this down that. someplace. Um. Bite attack, uh, both attacks hit at plus three. Okay. And the bite is 1d6 plus one, and claws are 2d4 plus one. Just play Fallout 4. That's the only game you need. <laughs> I just bought Fallout 3. <laughs> <laughs> That'll take you a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I pretty. Sh I think I got the game of the year edition too. Yeah, that's. I I beat it for this time. I got 120 hours on Fallout 3. Yeah, that shit was great. Anyways, badger? Badger bears? No. no. The badger is the one that gets to oh, get the then badger. Oh, these eggs? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So you guys just keep <coughs> heading up to this and inspect them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's on the road. I mean, yeah. Um, no, you're... If I, if I could put you down to the one block you're supposed to be, you look like a bitch. <laughs> so, so you're just awkwardly centered with them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <coughs> so, um, uh, you guys can kind of just keep heading up that road. I have a question. Is a huge beast bigger than a large beast? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when I turn into 
a giant elk. I'm gonna be bigger than Cody. <laughs> <He's just laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh, it's a new moon. Considered a huge. It's a huge beast. <laughs> oh, it's an awesome. A huge beast. <clears throat> All right. That's a huge like dick. The law breaks you. <laughs> As you guys are uh, heading forward to make a perception check for me, everybody. And I'm not going to do the passive thing because you guys are, something weird's going on. You, you it's not like, you're kind of being a little bit weird. <laughs> nope. <coughs> there it is. What Hold kind on. Of, uh, Shit. What, what kind of terrain are we in? <laughs> you, you and me, we're just looking at the law. Preaching to Zach. This is a little bit more like this, right? Uh, no, no, no. If you do it like this, that's just wrong. You do it like this. No, no. <laughs> and then you gotta swing really hard. Yeah. <laughs> just turns into you. Just devolves into you guys just arguing amongst each other about how to be a fighter here. <laughs> are we in? Shaking my what, head. What kind of terrain are we in? Swamp. Yeah. Uh, uh, with my ranger stuff, I had to pick a place that I'm like better in? Is that a question to ask? Uh no. Okay. No, I uh, have two left, yeah, same thing. So same Oh thing. sorry. That does that does help me. Sorry, I didn't didn't know that. I just remember planes. Right there. Sounds oh. like you're talking right into him. He's using his webcam mic. <laughs> Brock, simple. As you're as you're walking, you kind of as you're getting closer, you, you think that you smell something funny. Well, I am way back here, so. Yeah. Oh, you're even as those guys go forward, you're gonna hang back still. Yeah. Once you kind of get into that there ballpark closer to the egg, just, you know, you can't tell if it's just the wind shifted and something died in this part of the swamp or if it's something just funky. I'm going back. I must kill them. Fucking done. <laughs> fucking assholes. Can't teach me to be a fucking fighter. Fuck them. No, we did teach you. You have to just... Swing it really hard. <laughs> I'm just saying that because so we were talking about am it. So, do I not? Am I not seeing something go awry here? No. Okay. 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 <laughs> Looks like I got a 19, and he just smells something funny. Yeah. He got a 21. Yeah, he got a 21. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to get some kind of boost to it too. It's it's almost like the check number was a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's definitely balls. Doesn't smell it. Mm -hmm. So they're smelly eggs. I if we're closer than this. Can I see what they are? Am I getting a better view of this? Would I have any idea if this what these are now or? I mean, you're still fifty feet away, man. Like, you can't could, I, could I explain the Fucking smell? Fucking hell! Well, I mean, everyone, everyone's sure. smelling, everyone's smelling the same thing, Brock, but you're, you're the one who identifies, like, this is, this is stuff you guys, and then it's like, no, and they just keep, they keep crumbling along. Yeah, it's so <coughs> fucked up at the end of it, but, you know. I just thought that was the bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Not much to go on. All right, honey badger, attack the egg, the better man attack the egg. <laughs> I, I keep whoa, walking, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna walk with you. Whoa, whoa. Attacking eggs. Well, honey badger didn't kill you, so. I bet you know. Can I? I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to honey Is badger. Brock, Brock, you for real? Honey badger. Honey badger doing this thing? <coughs> well. Wait. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move up with the uh, 
kind of dark is. Do I spell anything else or like anything else? It, no, 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 it's just say it is. But what you hit on the airspace didn't seem right. Well, I mean, the eggs don't seem that big. Um, they're, they're like it's the size of me. No. No, they're not. They're not like well, not quite as big as you, but you'd be. Can I move up here without anything happening? Can I like you know get a good look at these eggs? Yeah, no, you can get definitely get up in there. Mm -hmm. Like dire ostrich or something. What? Yeah. No, this is. Yeah, it's pretty big. I mean, it's it, think like Jurassic Park, like it's just in thunder. <laughs> it's like da 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 da. You know, it's like yeah, it's like that big. Okay. Now, do I recognize these eggs? Uh, give Possibility. Me a put this egg down and go, holy fuck, these are Hydra eggs. <laughs> Honey Badger's is over here, like, having his way with the one. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Do I know what a Hydra is? Uh, yeah. I will explain to everyone what a Hydra is. <laughs> no, no. No, no. You're out. Holy shit, that's what a Hydra, that, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> a multi-headed <laughs> dragon. All right, we probably shouldn't fuck with a multi-headed dragon. You really didn't know what a hydra was? No, I have no idea. And it's as Devin's explaining oh, to us, like, guys, these are fucking hydra eggs. We need to not be standing here. You hear a reptilian roar nearby. <laughs> from what direction do you hear it? Uh, the noise came from the north. And we're facing the mouth of the proper. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, proper. The north of us. Yeah, so you guys are just kind of looking around. You can see, like, up this pool a ways. <coughs> There's, like, brush and shit kind of all over there. And over here, there was some space. Just roll for initiative for, you know, shits and giggles. Yeah, let's Could I have had a high enough perception to dash away before everyone else realizes this? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> that's just, just, huh? That's not perception that we'd be worrying about there. That would be cowardice. So, uh, cowardice yeah. roll. Roll yeah. for being a little bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll help. It's just, um, nice. The bird, the, the bird, you are one that lower is better for him? Yeah. Okay, I got a five. I have fucking a five. <laughs> that nine. That nine. Uh, Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Rock, roll one more time for Honey Badger. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Just said it. <laughs> Honey Badger would be on like, let's do it, dude. Just my thought that would be, I guess that's going to help us, but that helps with initiative? Or? I, Rock, I don't fucking know. Leave your own shit, man. <laughs> well, I, I, I got, I got, you know, just... I don't think it actually helps us with initiative. I think it just... I think it was an attack. Add some other bonus to it, you know? Okay. Uh, but... Like, I think you get advantage on your wisdom checks or something like that. Okay. Um, however... So, Nate, you're, you know, you and, oh, God, I'm so close to it. You and mine are going at the same time right now. What do you guys want to do? Well, roar in the distance. Holy shit, these are hydro eggs. That's about what you all know right now. I'm from the city, and all I've ever heard were stories. So I'm going to jump onto this log look around and be like, I've never fought a Hydra before. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I think you can 
can see a little more in here with the brushes to really darken the things. My range of experience on my last level of that, I took another favorite tree. So, so six. Yeah. I don't know what to name that one. That's what happened. Level six. six. Your archetype features. I don't think it's an archetype feature, so. Defensive tactics. Or exceptional training. So, beast War within up to six months during your trip. Oh, okay. Primeval awareness. A natural explorer. While traveling for an hour or more in your favorite terrain, you gain the following benefits. The terrain doesn't slow you down. Uh, even when you're engaged in another activity while traveling, you remain alert to danger. It has to do with traveling alone. When you forage, find quests for food, and while tracking other creatures, you also learn their exact numbers. It doesn't, doesn't really help you out in battle or anything like that. It's just like exploration for quick hunts. Very well. Going up over top the hill, and Lang is behind the guys on the top there, and starts crawling around. You see everything, and a giant five-headed hydra whips its head up there and begins uh, hissing isn't the right word, but making like you know Jurassic Park noises at you. I will, as you're going running up there, I'm gonna say you were either brave or stupid. Guess we're gonna have to find out. <laughs> your heads and I think it just yeah I think it's getting angry Oh my god. Oh, oh, one green. I was like, oh, that's amazing. Oh, 
So yeah, so we're taking that thing right through right now, and you can take stand again and have a horrible time. Okay, cool. And I'm just like Jesus. So my weird rules for you guys. Just hang on a sec. So yeah, Lang is impressed by <laughs> your being a dragonborn. <laughs> the starry eyes and. Side there and just burns the shit out of and it just is charred and smashed and falls down. And it's just like, yeah, and just like awkwardly drags me along as it moves in the future. <laughs> Sorry, I just I saw it happen. It was too funny. <clears throat> uh, honey badger, you want to do anything to fulfill the prank or just kind of chill with you? Um, it's been a while. Uh, had fun with it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Badger. Honey Badger won't even be affected by the train. It can just keep going. Uh, Cody, you're up. Um, I guess I'll break my way through the brush with my dirk. And just stand by the fire and just watch. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I've probably had better. <laughs> Wait. God damn, Cody. Aggro plus? Just came from Thailand. <laughs> Actually, monk food is just Thai food, so it was just like I was eating at home when I was over there. Peach or something. <laughs> oh, I didn't kill it, Cody. Shut up. <coughs> well, you see, being a fighter doesn't really matter when there's a wall of fire eating everything. <laughs> Gonna kind of stare ahead, like, oh my god. Gotcha. Cool. Um, alright, so careening forth out of the fire, kind of, you know, comes Ben Hedra, uh, screaming right after me to you guys. 
No, you were supposed to continue the line. You're saying hello to Bo. You know, continue. The God damn it, dude! Fucking, fucking hate you so much. <laughs> uh oh. All right. So. Um. So. The Hydra's heads will lash out at you guys. Uh, one at you, Nate, and two at you, Cody. Cody, the two at you. What was your AC? 21. 21. The first one misses, and the second one hits you. You take 11 damage. And Nate, the one that swings at you, what was your AC? 14 misses you. Then, as the fighting down there continues, a Hydra <coughs> reaches the top of the hillside here and roars at an ogle deer. It's, it's five. It's five heads uh, also looking at you. Uh, so does the Hydra get two turns then? Oh, it's no. two Hydras. It's two Hydras. It's two Hydras, bro, bro. Oh, I, I didn't see that one. <laughs> <coughs> Mama. Maybe these are two separate eggs. It up and throw it at the other one. He did one it. Hydra cancels out the other. <laughs> you think these are much bigger than you are? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, between you and me, we could probably throw it. <laughs> Maybe I got the chicken pad thai. Hot damn. Devin, what you doing? Giant moo. Ah, uh, they're not counted as beasts, are they? Uh, no, I think they must drop them. Oh. Yep, must drop them. Take the egg and run. <laughs> Quick, do we have a dwarf rope? Ah. Okay. I'll cut all the heads off at once. I'm not going to understand anything I say, I bet. <coughs> but I understand, so it's fine. Talk to him, Devin. Yeah. <coughs> Whatever we're you say, they do not seem to. <coughs> they do not seem to give a shit. <laughs> Don't seem to give a shit. All right. Um, I'm turning around at this point, obviously. Ah, yes. <coughs> and <then coughs> Uncle dear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the staff up in the air. And Uncle, Uncle dear's like, there, there, there's one behind me. Essentially, that's what's <laughs> yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna just everything. reach on my staff and slam the the the, the <coughs> staff into the ground and create a wall of thorns. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, Nate. What's your spell save? That didn't do. Oh no, I. 
you actually didn't kill Hackenhead. My bad. You should have uh, gotten another attack at you guys, but I'm not going to. Alright, you doing Wall of Thorns? Yep. <coughs> and we're going to hit a 20 foot diameter circle, a 20 foot high, and a 5 foot thick wall that blocks line of sight. Dexterity saving throw, and on a failed save, the creature takes 7d8 piercing damage, or half as much damage on a failed throw. Um, and a creature can move through the wall, albeit slowly and painfully. For every one foot of a creature moves through the wall, it must spend four feet of movement. Furthermore, the first time a creature enters the wall or end a turn, on a turn or enters a turn there, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw and take 7d8 slashing damage. <coughs> Trying to figure out if Montauk attack is kind of set. Do we have it that way, or is it just a one-time AC uh, bonus? All right, we were just confused. Um, AC <coughs> you? Oh. When a creature hits you with an attack, you gain plus four bonus to AC against all subsequent attacks. Does that mean if it attacks me three times, that I gain another plus four, or is it just plus four for? No, it wouldn't stack. Uh, yeah. Okay. I assume this should be one time. All right. Okay. I'm gonna move this way. Can I try yeah. and like bomb through wedges into nothingness without that being an attack? Without what? Well, just keep them without it being like creatures. an attack. Um, I think you just kind of run over top of them. Yeah. Yeah, you could do yeah. that and keep the movement up. Um. Oh God. Give me a. Yeah, no, actually, you. Turns out, as you run through the nest, these happen to be like the little things fragile eggs, and they just all smashed your shit. And the whole nest is just destroyed there. And it doesn't slow you down or anything. Yeah, and reptilian and soft eggs. Ah. Now, now I'm gonna run over to this pile and do the same thing. As you're doing this, you <coughs> like. But some of them do crush. So now I'm gonna turn around, uh, take out my short swords and try to uh, spike it. This is one of them knights, huh? Yeah, it is. The magic is just gonna fuck you over again, man. My my spike growth is not nearly as powerful as any of these guys' other attacks, so I think. Shit. Gonna be centered right on here, so that it it ends right before uh, Cora. Unless he 
think I see here. What else you want to do? Um, I'm I, I'm gonna like hiss at him, and then transform into a giant constrictor thing because I feel like it's appropriate for the swamps, right? All right. Oh, it's my turn. How do we how do we do this? Do I have? Well, go ahead and see what you get done. <laughs> oh, that's not attached to the giant fucking. Just silly boy. Uh, that would be your main action, though, wasn't it? Yeah, my bonus action to put my what you call it? The druid circle thing. Yeah. Cool. Sounds like the most broken build all of you. <laughs> so good. What do you mean all of you? Lang's got a fairly standard character. He's <laughs> eight tier, because his plus to his damage is more than the max damage I can have using my specialized weapon. So Try being a great weapon. Your your secret is you have far more utility than he does, though. <laughs> he just uses his face, and then gets his face rolled. So the the secret is you have to hold it with two hands and then swing really hard. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> your turn. Uh, we'll swing we'll swing like that. Yeah, what's the challenge rating on that thing? Two. <laughs> Did you double the challenge rating, right? Uh, it's half my druid level, or third my druid level now, now. I believe. <coughs> Bitch, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm about. So it's divided by three, rounded down. She had to put you at a two. Let's back. Let's this giant constrictor thing here. I also have a spreadsheet that tells me that this is it. Should actually go ahead and do it. I know. It's like, holy shit, that's a fucking beast right there. All right, cool. All right. Need a speedo. Uh, Nate, you're up. Oh, yeah, 
fourth, 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 fourth. Doesn't matter where we hit it. You know nothing. I swing. <laughs> um. Okay. I was just remembering what that is. So this thing's still alive. Let's just making sure there's. If you had two hands. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna technique <laughs> move back or take a step back and then dash at him. <laughs> dash up to him. At him. another attack so I'm just at him I'm just no because you have to use a bonus action you have to use an action to, to use the dash and then you get the attack Thing, which gives you an attack, you forfeited your actual attack. Then. 